ഹായ് രാഡു ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു സിനിമ എക്സ്പ്രസ് മൈ നെയിം ഇസ് ശ്രീജിത്ത് മുല്ലപ്പള്ളി ഫിലിം ഐ വാസ് മൈ മൈൻഡ് വാസ് ഫുൾ ഓഫ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എ റിയലി പ്രൊവർക്കേറ്റിംഗ് ഫിലിം and i was wondering where to start so i would probably start with the title itself what is the reason you you, you chose this title because the title itself like your film is a statement right oh it's an advice even <laughs> an advice uh, okay yeah well uh, the title the title uh, who who said that I, it was janet who said the title is the pimp of the work of art so <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so yeah so it's a, it's a, it's a, well i liked the the fact that it, it's pessimistic and ironical in the same time so it's sad and 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 and, and optimistic and funny uh and it goes both ways all the time it's in it's it's uh, in the same time um desperate but uh, uh because of the irony and the acceptance of it uh, it it transcends the sadness or the pessimism and uh it's serious and non serious in the same way and somehow i felt the film uh has the the these two qualities it has this sadness and this uh, seriousness and in the mm-hmm. same time i i think as as a intention i don't know it's it's light and is non serious so the the title express the film like is, is there were you catering were you pitching it to a certain target audience when you when you saying do not expect too much from the end of the world or was it just a general title specifically were you using that title as were you targeting to the working class or a specific section of the audience Oh, well, no, I I I thought about the whole audience. I uh, the film is meant uh, for everybody. Of course there will be people rejecting it, there will be people uh, not uh, accepting it, there will be people considering the film and not only the title not being very good, but this is part of the game. It's you you cannot help it. Oh, I thought it's very interesting title. Oh yeah, the title is interesting. It's true. Now, I'm not sure about the film, but but the title because it belongs yeah. to a great Polish the, aphorist. The, 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 is, the film is, is equally equal. The film is equally interesting. Equally interesting for the main character for her interactions with the TikTok audience. You you are using colors for there, and mm-hmm. the rest of the film is in black and white, including even a video call call that that happens in between the film. So is there a specific reason for that well the the reason well we can find a lot of reasons uh or uh, explanations for that but one one, one is uh, if you want or or the one that i would like to to talk about now is the fact that i don't understand why uh in theater for instance they can use all techniques and nothing goes away uh one can do uh, a stanislavskian uh, type of acting or a brecht type of acting and they both go together in painting one can paint in oil or one can paint in 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 in, in pencil or one can paint in watercolors or uh, all the techniques still exist but in cinema when a technique a new technique appears all the others should be thrown away and i i i i'm against this i i want to be able to use all the techniques i want so so that's the main reason if you want the main reason is that i don't consider that black and white is some or 16 mm black and white as in our case is something that has to be justified more than well it's it's exactly what it is it is just a technique that, that's all then of course we can find explanations for that or significations but maybe it's not for us to 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 find them you know where did your fascination for black and white cinema came about because i i looked at look through your filmography and i've noticed that you have done a few black uh-huh. no i made two films in black and white and there are two other uh, found footage documentaries because the materials were black and white um mm-hmm. so i don't have a fascination for for black and white as i said it's uh, is just one of the tools one of the possible tools 
and uh, and uh, no, I, I I don't have a one one of the things that I'm interested in is not to have a kind of aesthetic uh, preference for anything. So for me, a black and white uh, image in uh, film stock is or could be as important or as beautiful as a TikTok or an iPhone image like Ilinka is doing in the film with the filter. It can be on the same level uh, with a zoom image or with the same level as a 70 millimeter IMAX image. For me, they are just tools. They are part of the of, the, of cinema and they should remain, I don't know, part of cinema. So I, I don't care, basically. I don't say, oh, this is nicer than the other one. Of course, in in some moments i might have a preference or an appreciation for something but uh, but i for instance my next uh, film hopefully will be shot on, on 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 the iphone we have a lot of budget problems so we'll see but 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 if i do it i do it with the iphone and i don't consider that iphone is is uglier than than black and white uh, 16 millimeter at one stage of the film we could see a set of characters being interviewed, right? Yeah. And the people who are interviewing those characters, they are behind the camera, right? Yeah. So I thought it was a very fascinating way of conveying the points you make in that part of the film. Yeah, well, yeah, yes, actually, it started with a, let's say, uh, incompetence uh, problem. I, I couldn't make a better uh, a better uh, staging for that scene i couldn't make it uh, uh, in a more intelligent uh, way or more uh, I, I i do I, I i couldn't do it so in the end i uh, i i did uh, well maybe what what not a good artist do is to simplify it until i can do something so th this was my way to simplify and and put everybody somehow behind more most of the time behind the camera i think i could have gone further into that direction but i didn't know how so so but of course because everything uh, uh, becomes significant and everything becomes meaningful and not only in cinema in all, in all arts uh, and, and the viewer or the, the 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 consumer, let's say, I don't like the word, but I, I don't have another one now, always tries to interpret what they see or what they hear or what they read. And uh, then, of course, you can find and I can find, I can offer or you can find some explanations for that uh, and some meanings into that. But basically, for me, it was a practical, uh, a practical reason. The, the way I read that scene is that the people, it's like you meant to say the people behind the camera whom we don't see are faceless. They are the cruel, faceless people for exploiting the... Yeah, yeah, it's true. It, 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 very fascinating idea you're selling. I, 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 think, I, think, I think this explanation is possible and this meaning is, is a possible one. Uh, when you ask me how I did imagine it, one of the things I try not to do is not to imagine anything or as little as possible when preparing a film. And only when I do the rehearsals, I try to, with the actors and maybe with the camera or in, in the place, uh, to imagine what's going to happen. So I, 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 I don't see the, the film bef before it's made. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, my next good, I, is... I don't have good imagination. I don't have good visual imagination. I, I should I think you're make a it. Yourself, but it's very imaginative way of at least in my perspective, it's very imaginative. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, this if if this is the case, this is something that uh, it's not pre-set up uh, before. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, but I don't. I do. I don't to... do storyboards. I don't do short lists. So, so it's just <laughs> like that. Yeah, my, my next question is to uh, Ilanka. Yes. Yeah. So when Radu first came to you with this all, how did you take it? Because this is very. In every scene, there is a profanity, right? She's she's saying something very mean. Is cursing, and it's, it's very funny also. Sometimes it, it feels like, oh, it's been a while I've cursed something, cursed. Let me go and do a video and curse. 
is very how did you first take this role well the first time i read the final uh, uh, draft of uh, radu script I, i i loved it uh, enormously and actually the the what i read in that day uh, it's actually the film because we didn't change so much i mean it's nothing improvised or nothing changed and i felt uh, very represented and uh, i wanted to do all those uh, vulgar rants uh, i felt empowered doing them and uh, it uh, uh, made uh, me f- like i could uh, liberate myself while doing that and actually in my personal life i curse a lot i speak very dirty so it wasn't such a a big uh, creation for me <laughs> so It's very interesting yeah. you say that because at least in our part of the world in india a lot of actors are a bit insecure about they they care a lot about their image there are actors who don't care about the image also did you have any misgivings about how the audience will perceive such a character uh, well Uh, I don't know I, I I didn't think about it at all uh, uh, the thing is that uh, I when I started doing Bobitsa in 2021 on my social media platforms the feedback wasn't uh, b- such a great one I mean people were a little bit uh, uh, I don't know um, not shocked but didn't like this type of language and were a bit uh, they rejected a little bit uh, the language and the aggressivity of this character but uh, actually they uh, they didn't want to go deeper and understand actually that uh, i denounce something that is even more problematical that uh, uh, a curse word it's a it's a dynamic a, a, a power dynamic in our society between men and women that is even more vulgar and hideous than what i say in words mm-hmm. correct and uh, a lot of the things you say are anti capitalist anti establishment so is it like when you choose a role whatever the ideas that are communicated through your character is Do, is it a must for those ideas to be in line in agreement with your belief yes absolutely i i, I am in this point in my life i i have a love hate relationship with with the, uh, my work i do mostly theater in in bucharest and um, the thing that i have to of course i speak from a privileged position so it's not i don't have angela's position let's say but i i sometimes feel that i am exhausted of giving a lot of uh, presence online or on stage and to, like the quantity is more important than the quality of the product product i do and uh, i i got frustrated at some point and i unplugged myself and now i i am more careful in choosing each project i go i i i'm in because uh, not it's not the quantity that matters actually it's it's the quality okay. thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you thank you thank you